and welcome back to another 2013 World Championship deck uh, opening. So this is Ian Witten uh, with his American Gothic deck, and he was one of the senior semifinalists. So while I'm opening this up, I'm going to kind of go through the reasons why uh, I personally bother to buy these decks. Um, a lot of people don't bother with them because they are not playable. Um, the cards have um, a different kind of back which makes them unplayable. So this is just, uh, these decks are pretty much just to give you an idea of what the world champions ran and for uh, other players to pick them up and uh, have something to kind of practice with. Um, the reasons though that I get them, uh, one, they make pretty good openings on YouTube and everyone loves to see them. Uh, two, I have a lot of proxies, uh, proxied out decks, um, so that I can try and play test against as much as I can without having to pay for completed decks of everything. So, um, this is a lot easier than printing proxies, so, uh, you know, I get some use out of them. Um, I do keep one of each card as, uh, you know, something that goes into my collection, since they are Pokemon cards and they are, um, unique printings. So, there's that. Um... And uh, at the same time, you know, I'm adding to my collection, I'm helping out my decks, but then I also, um, while I enjoy the, the little things that it comes with, um, like I enjoy reading through this book every year, um, seeing pictures of all the people that um, did so well, and uh, reading the profiles and the, the deck lists and all that sort of thing, um, all this stuff then does go up for sale after I've, uh, you know, enjoyed it. Um, so you've got the little information booklet, which is pretty cool. You've got a deck box. And, uh, which I think is probably the coolest part, is you get this little Pikachu um, exclusive pin. So, um, again, all, all those are for sale. Um, now, if anyone does is interested in, in buying um, uh, these cards, except for, you know, the one of each that I'll be keeping for my collection, you know, I'm certainly, you know... Um, more than happy to sell them. You know, I just figure that uh, for the ones that aren't being used, it's, uh, you know, gives them uh, somewhere to be. And, uh, yeah. So, let me go ahead and sort out the Pokemon. Most of these are already sorted. There's just a little out of order um, because of the ones that they put on display. All right comes with a code card. Now, I'm, I honestly have no idea what this opens up. If it opens up the entire deck, this is amazing. Um, I Like I said, I don't know what's on this thing, so, uh, you know, it's up for sale. Um, I'm sure you can Google it, um, or even the, the ones on eBay, I'm sure, will we'll give listings as to what they actually are. All right, so uh, American Goth deck runs one Keldeo EX, two Mew EX, and then this is uh, the, the big player, getting this lock up. Uh, four Gothita, one Gothrita, one Gothitel. So when your Excelgore goes back into your deck, you bring this one active, prevents your opponent from using trainers, and really slows them down. Um, three Shelmet, and two Excelgore. I was really surprised that this was such a, a small line. Uh, I was really expecting a 3-3 uh, a three, three Excelgore line. Um, I'd be terrified to prize both of those Excelgore. Um, a 1-1 one, one Dusnor line, uh, the ultimate lock is when you have this Dusnor up. And a 1-1 one, one Musharna line, this is your draw power to help you uh, get what you need. And now we'll go through the trainers and supporters. So 3 Ultra Ball, 4 Juniper, 1 Town Map because you do run some techie cards, so it's really important to make sure that uh, you have access to those prizes when you need them. Super Rod, Colrus, 4 Candy, 4 Skyla, 3N, 2 Lovable, 2 Communication, 3 Floatstone, 2 Beach, 3 Catcher, 1 Scrapper, 1 Computer Search, and 4 DCE. So that is the American Goth deck. Um, let's see, Ian was uh, second place. Um, no, uh, actually, yeah, this is a senior deck, um, the, and this is, I'm a little confused, um, they decided to print the third place, um, deck, so first and second place, uh, first place was, uh, Plasma, and they already printed, um, a Plasma deck for second place juniors, um, and then, um, second place, uh, was, 
um, looks like eels, um, ray eels, which, great deck. I really have no idea why they didn't choose this one. Um, and I decided to print the Gothitelle deck, so um, go figure. Um, although there is one other seniors deck that was printed, so um, that'll, that video will be up next. And uh, stay tuned for that. Um, I'll probably be getting that up within the next day or so, and uh, I think that's pretty much it. If you're interested in some of the extras, um, certainly let me know. Otherwise, they're going into decks as proxies.